Hello and welcome to the Getting Started series of Pastel Evolution. This is part one of an eight-part video tutorial series. In part one we will show you how easy it is to navigate your way around Evolution, how to set up your favorites, how to customize your screen, and how to get quick access to your tasks from the Windows desktop. Unless your login has already been customized, it'll look something like this. Login with your username, enter a password if required, select the company you wish to work in, and then click OK. For a session date you can select the system date or you can select a specific date. If for example you are processing to prior periods over several sessions, your login to Evolution can be customized to be quicker and more efficient. For example, never to prompt. I'll address that in later tutorials. Note that you can always override the date when you are in Evolution. You are now in the Evolution program. The layout resembles a familiar Windows Explorer environment. On the left is the system tree. This can be minimized or expanded as required in typical Windows fashion. Finding your way around Pastel Evolution is really easy. For instance, if I wanted to open General Ledger, I could open it in three places on the screen. I could go to the toolbar and open General Ledger from the icon. I could go to the right hand pane and open General Ledger from there or I could go to the system tree and click on General Ledger there. I have just clicked on the General Ledger in the system tree. The module layout and evolution is consistent. Each module is divided into distinct areas, namely maintenance, transactions, inquiries, reports and any other module specific feature. You can see the same layout and accounts receivable if I clicked on that, for example. Have you noticed that as I have been opening modules, these are being added as tabs to the top of the screen? I can quickly and easily navigate to where I want to be by just clicking on General Ledger, for instance, or going straight back to Accounts Receivable. The tab not only records the modules I visited, but also specific areas within that module, for example maintenance and accounts receivable. The modules or the screens I've recently visited can also be found at the bottom of the system tree. Another useful way of getting around is using the back or the forward arrow at the top of the screen. For tasks I perform often, I can add to my favorites. If, for example, I had to update new customers on a regular basis, I could right-click Customers and add that to my favorites. By going to the top of the screen and clicking on Favorites, I see customers have been added. We can make navigation even easier in Evolution. If I was lucky enough that my only task was to update new customers, I could add a shortcut directly to my desktop. By right-clicking Customers, and selecting whether I want to log in or not log in. In this case, let's select not to log in. While we're at it, let's assume someone else is a bit more hardworking than I am and needs to access the whole of accounts receivable. By right-clicking accounts receivable in the system tree, on the pop-up menu, we can see that there's an option to add accounts receivable to the desktop. In this case, I'm going to select no auto login. I've already prepared the icons on the desktop and I'll assume I'm the user who needs to access all of accounts receivable. The screen I'm presented with contains only accounts receivable functions. The other icon we created on the desktop was for the user who only needed to see customers. If I had clicked on that icon on the desktop, I would have seen this screen. I've logged into Evolution as a user who requires full access to accounts receivable only and not to any other modules. I want to access my customers which is under the maintenance icon. In normal Windows fashion I can click on the column header to sort the columns. Looking at my customer list there are columns of information I require that are not displayed. This can easily be done by right-clicking anywhere on the column headers and selecting Customize Grid Columns. 
This will result in a customization pop-up. From this box I can select any of the available headers. I can drag and drop my selection to the header area. I have selected balances. In the customization box you can see a large variety of available headers. When I close the customization box, the column I've just added becomes populated as we can now see we have some balances. This has been a brief tour of navigation and evolution. In the next tutorial we will explore how to refine individual user options and settings. Thank you for watching.